everybody, I'm Emily and this is Emilu Arts. Today I'm going to catch you up on my journaling for the weekend, um, mid-April, which I still can't believe how we found ourselves here. So get your journal, a planner, or something you enjoy and let's do it. I know you're all waiting with bated breath to see how work went on Friday. Did she poop her pants? No, I didn't, you guys. And it was divine intervention. Once again, it was actually my turn to be mandatory for low census at 7 p.m., so I got to go home. It was fantastic. So, yes, all the good things. That was amazing. And Saturday, I am sticking in one of these stickers. This uh, little sheet was sent to me uh, from one of you guys, and I love that little font. It's like... um a bullet journal uh, sheet of stickers, which is pretty cool. Um, That would be fun to have those if you were bullet journaling, like cool stickers if you didn't like your hand lettering and stuff, like to do days of the week and whatnot. Um, I cut out that really pretty little sun um, from that magazine image because it was a sunny day. It was supposed to be kind of cloudy, but um, it turned out to be pretty nice. And uh, Addie had a camping thing for Girl Scouts that day. So it was good that the weather kind of turned around. I put that little flower because I had, um, well, I thought it was pretty. And there was some flowers in our backyard that I noticed that kind of looked like that that I really hadn't noticed before. So that weekend banner is from a Happy Planner sticker book, I think. And then I put a laundry sticker because, I mean, when don't I do laundry? Uh, I was catching up on... This on Sunday, so I put a, I can't, I'm on call for Sunday because I was actually on call for the first four hours of my shift on Sunday. So, I mean, that was okay too. <laughs> I mean, not good, not bad, <laughs> just okay, but I did have time to uh, journal and catch up, which was pretty cool. Um, I was putting some of my nursing uh, stickers from my uh, Happy Planner sticker book, um, Saturday, I actually did have to work my full shift. Boo hoo. (laughs) Um, But the day started off bright and early. I love that little busy sticker with with the dinosaur carrying the leaf um, because I had to get up bright and early to go to a Weight Watchers meeting. And I liked the little cat. That's a Positune cat from Amazon. Um, I will link all of these stickers below. They're pretty random. Because I have my little notebook and I take notes and, you know. Um, I liked the one of the quotes. She said, motivation will get you going, but habits will keep you going. That's kind of the uh, theme of the month. Um, We're talking about habits. And uh, it's been really interesting to me and has made me really think. So that was kind of cool. And um, I put in these little stickers because after I got home from that, we went and got Henry a haircut. Thank God he was starting to look very unkempt (laughs) um you know it's bad when he asked to get a haircut because that never happens so uh i threw in a lot of stickers basically all of my little random ones that you see on those sheets of stickers from like korea and japan and stuff there's always these tiny little stickers in between the main ones and i've just been throwing those everywhere in a spread i just love like packing the page full of little things that kind of relate uh, and then I printed off some pictures using the Pick Stitch app and uh, sent them to Walgreens of Addie's little um, day hike camping thing. They couldn't go overnight camping this year for brownies, so they did like this day trip thing to a nature uh, place near us, and um, they had a lot of fun. And Addie got um, a trophy for cookie sales, the digital diva trophy, because she sold the most online cookies, which is all thanks to you guys. Um, so thank you very much. She was absolutely thrilled with that. And um, it's so cute. Our uh, troop leader made trophies for all of them, like found something that they did the best. Like you sold the most lemonades. You put in the most consistent orders and made them all trophies. It was adorable. Uh, and then I put in a little bike with that little cat sticker because uh, Henry's friend Parker just showed up at the door and uh, they got to play for a few hours outside and that was awesome. 
And uh, that little picture uh, that I stuck in was from an email that I got from uh, a girl named Lily in the UK. And she um, sent me a package and she wanted to let me know how much she loved my channel. And I thought that was so sweet um, because she's like 13. So Lily, don't listen to my bad language, but do journal because it's fun. <laughs> So I am, I just appreciate you guys so much. And I thought that was really, really cute. Um, I love when my phone reminds me of pictures, um, or was it Facebook? It was Facebook when it reminds you of pictures that happened like six years ago today. You posted this picture, whatever. Well, this one popped up of Henry and it said nine years ago. And I just love that little picture of Henry. It's the worst photo, but he is the stinking cutest. It's probably one of my faves taken on like my iPhone 4. <laughs> with a cracked screen. Uh, yeah, so it's vintage. Um, and I just love his cute little face and his red hair. Ugh, I had to print it out. And, um, it's one of the things that I actually enjoy Facebook for, um, reminding me of those sweet memories. And then I put in, um, a Papa Pio cat doing laundry, because once again, just same, different day, same laundry. <laughs> you feel me? Um, and then, like I said, just sticking in more of those little fun stickers. Um, I was so tired on Sunday morning, I could not get up. <laughs> um, Michael went grocery shopping and Addie went with him and he, uh, got Henry some more, like, uh, summer like shirts and pants and stuff and then somehow Addie managed to wrangle out of him some a new bathing suit for summer <laughs> that is so her like she could not need anything in the world but she'll manage to get something out of that trip <laughs> so I loved the pig and cat sticker with the bathing suits and then the um the picture of the bear with the shirt on over his head because <laughs> Henry had to try on all the clothes you know when they got home um and then I put a coffee sticker because, gah, I needed it. I needed something to get me going on Sunday. Um, and it was, uh, it, it was rough. I think part of it is that the pollen count has been so stinking high around here that I've been so sneezy and my eyes just feel swollen so I'm just, I just feel tired, you know. And poor Henry was feeling his allergies on Saturday but then on Sunday, it kind of like developed into what we thought was a cold. So that really sucked uh, because, you know, a cold's not just a cold anymore. So um, I took a picture of the really pretty bushes in our backyard. I don't know what kind of flower these are, um, but they're so pretty. They're like this purpley pinky color and... I just really liked them. And that piece of washi tape that said, working hard, hardly working. <laughs> I did have to go into work at 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. So, you know, I did some work. And uh, then I just put the sticker of that little uh, pig and cat sticker. Um, just saying that, like, yeah, Henry developed a little cold and was feeling kind of miserable. So didn't know what that was going to hold for Monday because you can't send him to school with COVID-like symptoms, you know. He just said his throat was scratchy and he was really, like, stuffy, runny, on and off, you know what I mean? So um, I put that great sticker from the Buha Bear stickers, like, oh, perfect. <laughs> um, so, and then I just put a work sticker from my um, Happy Planner nursing stickers and I cut off her feet. <laughs> And, um, let's see, I think I lettered that Sunday, um, with one of my mild liner brush pens. And then I just put hearts all over it because that's what I like to do. I'm afraid that my voiceovers are getting really boring for you guys. You'll have to tell me if you're sick of hearing the same things over and over because I really feel like I kind of tell you guys the same things over and over. So if we need to revamp this, just give me your opinions in the comments. I mean, uh, there's nothing I love more than opinions from the internet. <laughs> no, I, I'm honestly serious. Um, so throw it at me. Uh, I... Let's see. I'm, I just had the complete brain fart. I've been having to 
pulled my notebook back with a like binder clip because it's getting so fat. So um, for Monday, um, Henry woke up feeling, um, you know, still like he had a cold. So that sucks. And <laughs> it meant that we could not go to school. I put in that little Buha Bear sticker, like waking up feeling kind of groggy. And then a picture of Addie um, trying to make friends with a duck in our front yard <laughs> while it started to snow. Because yes, it wouldn't be Iowa in April if it didn't snow one last time. So um, there was a misplaced duck in our front yard and Addie was trying to befriend it and tell it to go home. Go home, duck! Find your home and your family! I can only imagine what our neighbors think of us. Um, and then I put a little sprocket picture that I printed out of Henry uh, reading his book, waiting in the doctor's office to get his COVID test. He's always got his book with him when we go somewhere, a little cutie. And then another Buha bear with the doctor in the stethoscope. I thought that was so cute. Um, and yeah, so since Henry had to get a COVID test, Addie couldn't get go to school either because um, she would be considered a close contact. So we all have to stay home, like basically in quarantine until we get test results back. So um, that meant no school. And uh, I, <laughs> I put in this because I thought it was so funny when we were at the doctor's office. He was looking in Henry's ears and Henry goes, uh, Please excuse the earwax. My professional Q-tip wielder, my mother, had to work last night. <laughs> what a nerd. I love that kid. The doctor just chuckled. <laughs> like, you're a piece of work, kid. He is. I love him so much. My professional Q-tip wielder. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And uh, since Addie was not feeling bad, she was full of energy and wanting to craft all day um and she decided to take up the hobby of squishy painting yesterday uh which meant that i took up that hobby <laughs> of squishy painting <laughs> and then so she alternated in between squishy painting being bored and being hungry um i put that little cat sticker <laughs> facing the corner saying i'm still hungry <laughs> Because that's basically what I heard all day long on repeat. And it drove me insane. <sighs> I don't know how much food it takes to sustain these children. But when they're at home, it's monumental. It's a monumental amount of snacks and food. And I was, I was kind of over it at the end of the day. Um, I put that little, um, oh, I don't know what stickers those are. They're, um... Korean girls, happy girl, happy life stickers, uh, just to illustrate Addie's mood swings. <laughs> We're full of them. <laughs> and it is very fun, if you can imagine. Um, Addie is my daughter. She is almost nine. And I read once that eight-year-old girls have all of the hormones circulating in their body that they're ever going to have. They just haven't gone into puberty yet, but they've still got the hormones, and um, I'm experiencing that firsthand. <laughs> uh, but the upside was um, I did take a bath last night, which was uh, relaxing, sort of. I'll get, I'll get to that more later. I used one of the little cute bath girls from the Michaels and Shine Sticker Studio Let's Stay Home uh, sticker kit. And um, my husband was a trombone player in uh, high school and college, and he f discovered these P instruments on Amazon, and he bought a P trombone, a P bone, and they've been loving playing that. And Henry decided that he wanted to play the trumpet next year in fifth grade. So my husband wanted to start working with him on it uh, because Henry's super excited about it. So he bought him a P trumpet, and the P trumpet arrived last night. <laughs> So we are a full-on brass family now, and so ends the moment of, of silence in my house for ever. <laughs> but it, it was pretty funny, and they're having a lot of fun with those instruments. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> yeah, it s sort of sounds like a dying animal constantly, but 
<laughs> they're they're having fun, which is amazing. And uh, I made a little sign on my Procreate <clears throat> inspired by uh, a comment on one of my videos. <laughs> I said, help wanted part-time ancient astronaut theorist cryptid scholar smut bibliophile. <laughs> Basically, my dream job. Those are my credentials. I have a very unique set of skills. <laughs> and um, I thought it was funny. And then that little ice cream cone with the broccoli on top. Um, because I'm trying. It's all about balance and uh, adding hearts. And oh, that's my journaling for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And uh, I hope you guys had a good weekend. I'm going to leave you with um, a little ditty, uh, what I hear in the bathtub. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.